Today we're going to review the battle-tested hand and a half sword. Before we get into the review for the sword, I want to thank our sponsors WeaponMasters.com for making this video possible. This battle-tested hand and a half sword is much like the Ronin Katana hand and a half sword. It very much looks like the Ronin Katana hand and a half sword, and I'm not quite sure where the disconnect is or if they are competing companies or if they're the same company, but it is almost exactly the same as the Ronin Katana European Sword Series. And Katana does have is a wider range. The battle tested range only has about three to five pieces in it. Now this is a 1065 high carbon steel blade and for the size is actually quite light. When doing cuts, cut very clean and smooth. And many of the strikes were able to leave clean markings all the way through our water bottles, our cardboard, our wood, and our ballistics gel dummy. This sword does come sharp with one single bevel. Unlike other swords where there's a secondary sharpened bevel, this has one singular bevel and is fairly sharp for the price. During the testing, we were surprised by how well it handled. The things that did develop during it, wing of the sword, was a very slight click in the, in the cross guard, but for the price, it was very minor compared to other higher range swords. The tang is a full tang and is pinged at the end. It does come with a wooden scabbard with a collar and chape tip. For under $300, this is quite the workhorse of the sword. We noticed that the only time it sustained blade damage is when we were striking it on metal objects. We saw no blade deformation or anything when we were using it against wooden targets or other robust targets. This is something you'd find in the very late 14th century and all throughout the 15th and 16th century. As longer swords with skinnier blades became more popular. Personally, I really like this sword, um, but not to hang on my wall. This is more for form and cut tests because it is kind of a lesser expense blade. I don't feel bad bashing it against things. I very much like this sword. If you like what you saw today, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. If you'd like to purchase this, head on over to weaponmasters.com where they'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you again for joining us today. And as always, may all your days be filled with history.